All right, let's roll on. Real Deal Prime giving Bebsy some love. Let's move on to Tampa Bay Buccaneers, 11-4, and 5-3 and three on the road at New York Jets, 4-11, and 3-5 and five at home. MetLife Stadium, East Rutherford, New Jersey. Let's go over it. From to the market and then head over to the cash flow. You have the Buccaneers opening up as 13 point favorites. Let's move to 13 and a half with a couple of books. This total opened up at 46. It's now at 45 and a half. Let's move over to the cash flow here. We have 3,543 tickets in. 83% of the tickets are on the Buccaneers. We don't have the cash information yet. Small sample size, I guess. Then we have 55% of tickets on the under, but just 21% of cash. So an expectation that there will be. Low scoring, or sorry, well, let me. Sorry, I was looking at a comment when I started thinking about the expectation there. Expectation that there will be points scored, which would mean that the Jets would be able to score points. Let's go, MetLife. Buccaneers bounced back from being shut out by the Saints by beating up on the Panthers in Carolina, thirty-two-six, to win their first NFC title, NFC South title since two thousand seven. Put up 391 yards of offense. Tom Brady was 18 of 30 for 232 yards, one touchdown, no interceptions. Antonio Brown returned from suspension by catching 10 passes for 101 yards. Cyril Grayson caught three passes for 81 yards. Keyshawn Vaughn looked very strong, running the ball, seven carries for 70 yards and a touchdown. Ronald Jones was had the bulk of the carries, and we can expect him to do that until he fumbles a couple times and Arians moves in a different direction. 20 carries for 65 yards and a touchdown. The defense was excellent. Seven sacks, 11 quarterback hits. Jordan Whitehead had a pick. Arians said after the game that Shaq Barrett had a mild MCL sprain in his knee. Wouldn't say how long he will be out, but you can imagine he will not be in the lineup this week. And you know, it's I don't I don't want to do this for every team because it'll slow us down too much. But man, I refreshed this page for my injury page, and it's got all these new <laughs> COVID issues that I hadn't written down. And for the box, it's San Sean Murphy Bunting and Jamel Dean who've been added to the COVID list with Mike Evans. And Shaquille Barrett here, they'll say he'll miss at least two games. So just he has both a sprain MCL and ACL. So Sha Shaq Barrett's going to be out for two games. Uh, Mike Evans was added to the reserve COVID list today. You know what? I shouldn't have written anything down. That would have saved me so much time today. Raheem Nunez, Roches, a defensive tackle, is on the COVID list. Jalen Darden on the COVID list. We knew about that. Levante David, we knew he was on the COVID list. Leonard Fournette dealing with the hamstring. And Patrick O'Connor with a knee injury is on injury reserve this season's done. We knew all that. The Jets coming off a 26-21 home win over the Jaguars while missing their head coach and 20 players due to COVID. There's Boston Nick in the house. Great to see you, Nikki. Nikki coming off of COVID right now. I hope you're feeling better, man. Hope you're feeling better. Uh, would love if you could give us a little update and how, how you're feeling. We would love that. Absolutely love that. Uh, thinking about you fighting through this illness. Uh, Zach Wilson, 14-22 for 102 yards, one touchdown, no interceptions. He also ran four times for a quarterback franchise record of 91 yards, including a 51-yard TD run, which is the longest quarterback TD run in Jets history. Michael Carter ran 16 times for 118 yards. And Nick says he feels great five days in. I love hearing that. I think we're about past this COVID section of our life. I mean, it was an awful one. But I think we're kind of moving past that. Uh, Michael Carter, 16 carries for 118 yards. As a team, the Jets ran 36 times for 273 yards. Braxton Berrios caught five passes for 37 yards, but he returned a kickoff for 102 yards, and it was magic to the house. C.J. Mosley, such a good defender. Ten tackles, lone sack. And they lost their center, Connor McGovern, and tight end Trevon Wesco, Trevon Wesco to knee injuries. Uh, but let's just take a look at what's changed here for the Jets because – they had so many issues that I didn't want to write them down. So let's go over. So today they lose. Jared you can Davis. say that about the Jets pretty much any time, though. <laughs> you're right. You're right. Guard Isaiah Williams and Bryce Hall, cornerback, were added today, as was Elijah. No, no, Elijah Riley and Jamison Crowder dealing with injuries. Okay, so Connor McGovern done for the year. Trayvon Wesco, done for the year. Both those knee injuries, they've lost them for the year. Uh, Tyler Croft, reserve COVID. Makai Becton, reserve COVID. And Makai, oh no, sorry, Makai Becton's still dealing with the knee injury. So he's done for the season. He's not coming back. They were wondering if he was going to come back. He's not coming back. 
So these are the guys on COVID. Quinn and Williams, very important defensive tackle. Ryan Griffin, tight end. Laurent Duvernay, Tardif, guard. Joe Flacco, quarterback. Jonathan Marshall, defensive tackle. Kenny Yaboa, tight end. Ashton Davis, safety. Elijah Vera Tucker, guard. Michael Carter, corner. Sherrod Niesman, safety. Vincent Smith, wide receiver. Defensive end, Jonathan Franklin Myers. Wow. What an absolute mess. How hard is this stuff to cap? Take it away here. Should the Buccaneers be this big of a favorite, Bebzy? Yeah, they absolutely should be. Um, I mean, the COVID thing makes it so so hard to cap an already difficult game to cap. But, I mean, look, the Bucs, you know, I said don't, don't fade Tom Brady coming off a, a horrible – historically bad performance. And I certainly write about that. And, and I, I think he continues to dominate the Jets as he has for most of his career. Um, I don't see how the Jets score points. You know, with Bunting and Dean out, that's a big problem, but I still don't see how the Jets exploit that. I really don't. I don't see how the Jets put up points here. Um, between injuries and COVID, their already bad roster is worse. And I think Tom just takes care of business, rides Gronk and Brown, and and they're going to smash them here. Ah. <laughs> Don't let us get hot, Bebzy, you bastard. Don't let us get hot. You've been talking all this shit. Beat the Jaguars ass. Zach Wilson now a record holder for the Jets franchise. Longest touchdown run for a quarterback ever. Did Joe Namath ever do that? Did he do that? No, that drunk, that alcoholic, that loser. Zach Wilson's the best. And guess what, Bebzy? Here's my piece of advice. Take Antonio Brown props because he's close to incentive. The Jets. I didn't pull him off. I think he pulled himself off there. <laughs> um, wow. Uh, 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 <laughs> oh, dear. Here. Jose, I mean, if that's if that's what you got, I feel sorry for you. Um, oh, so I guess Jose is on the Jags here. Uh, Slatsy says you're going to have to fight Jose first before the main event with Birdie. No, I think a better fight would be Jose and I. Bebsy, Bebsy should probably fight Birdie, but I, you know, I should just be in Jose's corner. I'll be his, I'll hold his spit bucket. Uh, Bebsy, what's your plan here? Do you want to move? Uh, and Pie Guy says Jets fans are delusional. They Do you are. Move? They're literally the dumbest fans in the NFL. <laughs> oh, uh, no, we're gonna get another news break. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. oh man, um, Be- yeah. Bebsy, I'm ready to fight you two on one. I'm ready to fight you two on one. Me and Birdie are gonna beat your ass. Bring it on. I will fight you guys both at the same time. Uh, and you know what? Let's put a steak dinner on it. I want two steak dinners from Jose. I want you paying off steak dinners for the rest of your life. So you want to put the box minus 13 on a steak dinner? I'm going to do it. I'm going to. Whoa, gonna whoa, 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 whoa. I'm not doing that. No, thank you. No, thank you. Whoa. Wee. Everybody in the audience, now listen to me carefully, is being given a special package, and I don't want you to open it. Do not open it. Cameras are on you, so do not open until I tell you. All right? Open your boxes. Open your boxes. One, two, three. You get a steak, you get a steak, you get a steak, you get a steak, you get a steak. Everybody gets a steak. <laughs> sounds like he's not in, Pepsi. Sounds like uh, sounds like he's not in. But he's got all day to decide if he wants it. Did you want to meet the line shop for the Buccaneers for you? Uh, yes, please. All right, well, let's do that right now. I'm going to start with Circa because they gave you such a good line on that. Four and a half. They also had the Raiders at six and a half. Uh, oh, geez. Buccaneers minus 12 there. That is not a very good line. Let's move over to Pinnacle. 
see what Pinnacle has for you here on the Buccaneers. Minus, what am I saying? What am I talking about? Of course, that's the best line. Sorry, I barely saw this night. Minus 12 at minus 110 available right now at Circus Sports. Book it. All right. Bebsy is in on the Buccaneers. Now, Bebsy, this I just want to mention this because I'm not calling it out, but I just want to hear your idea. You did you were once this year a believer of not backing those Buccaneers on the road and only backing them at home for covers. Why yes, is this, but, why and I, I realize that, but this is uh this is Tom Brady uh in December facing a team he knows all too well and I'm not worried about that in this scenario. Uh, we've we've got uh, literally the Super Bowl champs, and a, you know a second year in a row a legitimate Super Bowl contender playing a bad team whose season is long since over with a ton of injuries and COVID. Uh, this should be a route. Well, there you have it. Bebsy's on the Buccaneers, minus 12, minus 110. Real Deal Prime says this game ain't close. And we move on. 